so I can film? Can you move so I can film? Are you gonna move so I can film? Yeah? Can you move so I can film? Are you gonna move? Are you gonna move? Are you gonna move? No. Okay. Okay. I'm moving myself. Love you, girl, girl. Good. Hello and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books and today is my video by which I go and rummage through my uh, laundry basket, get out all the clothes that I have not washed since I've worn them that month and then show them to you guys um, in my what I wore uh, video. So this is a relatively new series um, where I talk about the clothes that I've worn the month before. I've got a Instagram account at Lauren and the Books um, where I use the hashtag hashtag L-A-T-B O-O-T-D Lauren and the Books outfit of the day. Um, and <laughs> I uh, put outfits up that I'm wearing people are always very kind and say how lovely I look so I thought I would start doing this thing where I talk about the outfits that I've worn the month before I will start with although this wasn't an outfit of the day post uh, this very jumper um, there is a picture of Mercedes and myself uh, uh, not both wearing this jumper um, in the book hive bookshop in Norwich uh, David and I went on holiday to Norfolk um, last last week god it feels like a million years ago um and on the way up to norfolk we stopped by norwich and uh, met up with mercedes and um, stayed with her for a night which was lovely and i was wearing this jumper now this jumper is from tesco um it's lovely it's really nice and warm potentially too warm for today and um, i feel like it looks like a ski jumper from the 80s it's um like a, a knitted jumper with um rainbow and then it's got pink around the cuffs weirdly <laughs> i've got a pair of socks that are this exact gray with this exact pink around the top of them so sometimes i confuse the arms of this for socks um but yeah very enjoyable tesco's Tesco, it's from Tesco's, which is a supermarket in the UK. They don't sell clothes online anymore, which is really frustrating. So I can't, not not just for you guys, but also for me, because if I ever see something on their, frankly, very, very good Instagram account, um, they you can't go and buy it online. You just have to hope against all hopes that you can get it from in store, which is, do you remember that green skirt? I've got the leopard print, deep, uh, dark green skirt. That's from Tesco's. And I so many people have messaged me saying, I haven't been able to get that skirt from there because it's never in stock. And like, there's been a leopard print skirt, just a normal color leopard print skirt that I've been into... I would say upwards of six or seven Tesco's to try and get my hands on it and have not been able to get my hands on it yet. So yeah, so not great, but also I've got quite a lot, a few bits in here from Tesco's as well. So sorry, but yes, this jumper is from Tesco's and I enjoy wearing it. Um, the next outfit I want to talk about is this very outfit. This was taken outside our Airbnb. Um, we'd literally just arrived and um, we were heading out to go to Tesco's and uh, not, to, yes, to Tesco's because I was looking for this jumper, uh, for that skirt um, and to uh, buy a bit of food and stuff before we headed down to the, uh, seafront in Chroma which is where we were staying um, the boots I've got on are these fantastic sock boots from last year's Primark um, I think they were like a tenner they are purple and pink and blue sparkly I absolutely love them my biggest regret is that they also had these in silver and black and I didn't get them in each. and even more than that I think it was the black ones I saw went down to like five pounds in the sale and I didn't see them they're the comfiest thing ever this bit is like shoe but the rest of it's like socks so they're not like tight or anything they're the perfect size heel for me um, I don't like high heels but this is like this is as high as I will go and because it's a big block heel you can just do all your doings in it and not worry about being in high heels um i absolutely love them and i wear them throughout autumn and uh, winter and i really really enjoy wearing them they're much more sparkly than they look on the screen but they're very 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 nice to wear and i really enjoy wearing them i had them on with gray tights and then this is one of my favorite tops that i got from sainsbury's last year i wear it all the time um i've missed wearing it by the way this is we're getting into like autumn winter stuff now there's barely any short sleeved things in there um and this is a long sleeve top with like these i don't know what these um ends are called but like they're sort of curly and the um the collars like that as well and there we go from sainsbury's it is in a size 16 um i think it was 12 pound last year i've got something very very similar in this exact style that i also wore this month that is also from uh, sainsbury's and it's in store now um but yeah i mean gray just goes for me gray goes with everything and it's a bit better than white because like i tend to ruin white stuff when i um when i <laughs> wash it as i've ruined a lovely white t-shirt that i've ruined already by washing it with i think jeans maybe it's just gone a bit blue um, and then with that top i was wearing this lovely skirt which is from primark 
dark um and it is this is a size 18 skirt and if i wasn't wearing it if i was if, if i was wearing it on my hips it wouldn't fit at all but because i'm wearing it on my waist it does fit maybe it is a little bit short to wear on my waist but hey i don't care um it's got like a stripy pattern which i don't know oh you can see a stripy pattern and then these sort of like autumnal flowers um facing downwards on it and then the top is like this so that when you tuck something in it looks lovely and then the back is also a nice big exposed zip which is lovely i think this was 13 pounds um at the moment i'm struggling to think of any other tops i own that will go with it apart from this top um maybe a shirt like a plain shirt or something um i think i'll probably end up wearing it to work um but yeah i've worn it I think I wore it twice. I think I wore it on the way home as well. No, maybe I didn't. But yeah, I, I love I love it. I love the pattern of it. It's just so pretty, isn't it? Very, very, very pretty. Um, so that was the first outfit. The next outfit involves a hat. Hi. Um, and uh, this was a um, this hat is from Primark that I bought in Norwich. Oh, my fringe does not go that way, does it? When we do it, let's see if we can get it on. Um, I really struggle to buy hats, guys. I've got a really, really big head and I know I've got a really really big head um when I was in when I was in um secondary school we did a um we did a science experiment and we had to it was just like to see if there was any correlation between whether or not you were left-handed or right-handed and how big the circumference of your head was and I had the biggest head in the year bigger than the teacher even um, so I really struggled to find hats so when I find a hat that does fit I tend to buy it so this is just from Primark this is I think this was £10. Um, it's a black felt hat. It's uh, nice because it's like quite big and fits my head and I just feel like black goes with everything and I really really like it actually and um, yeah very very comfy. Doesn't stay like it's not like the, the big it, it's more it's, it's a fashion hat rather than a warmth hat but it definitely stays on and if I give it a bit of a yank down it, it definitely stays on. So yeah um, I might do something with this. It's got a black so you can't really see but like a black ribbon around it. I might maybe put some pom-poms on it or or a different ribbon um, tie it around. Maybe who knows. Um, and then the dress I was wearing this with is a dress that I've worn three times this month four times no because it's October now but I wore it to work yesterday as well and it's a lovely lovely dress from New Look and it is this um, dark green almost like an army green leopard print I love the length of this dress. I love the fact that it, um, it comes down to like mid midway. I love a midi dress. Um, I really like the sleeves that they're not full sleeves, but they're nice little cap sleeves because I, I don't like wearing things that are like block here. I like to come over the shoulders. They also um, do it in a dark red as well, which is really nice. But I just love this sort of big leopard print with the brown and the black and the grey. Um, and I feel like it's really autumnal and it's gonna it's gonna keep me in good stead. I'm gonna wear that a lot. And I think I might even like I could wear maybe that grey top underneath it or a black top underneath it black roll neck underneath it with tights like this can this will do me good it was 24.99 um from new look and it, this is a size 18 um but yeah i think if i saw the red one i would be tempted to get the red one as well because the red one is just also lovely so that is the next one and i wore that when we went to Felbrigg House, um, when we were on holiday, which was lovely, we went into a walled garden and had a really lovely walk around and took photos of me in various positions uh, in the garden whilst wearing that dress. But I also wore it to Jen's book launch and I wore it when I met Nadia Hussain at the um, headline, um, headline event when they were talking about the books that they've got coming out in 2019. So yeah, worn that a lot and I will continue to wear it a lot. Um, the next outfit I've got are my favourite jeans. I can't remember whether or not I've shown these jeans before. I think I have. These are Lost Ink Plus jeans um, and they are just in this sort of very light wash denim with um, ripped uh, ripped legs. Don't know how much I'll be wearing ripped legs in autumn and winter because um, I might get me a little cold knees but I really like these um, and I like the fact that they're quite wide at the bottom so you can roll them up. I've got very big calves so I can't often roll trousers or jeans and things up um, but I can with these um, these are uh, a UK 16 from Lost Ink Plus I think they were £40 now that is quite extortionate for me I wouldn't normally spend that much on jeans but I bought them from Very to try them and see um, see what the sizing was like because sometimes Very what have I got in the back of here Oh look, I've got little tickets from when David and I went to the um, to the to the arcades, um, and I was going to see how I got on with them, and they they fit really lovely, and I couldn't I couldn't bring myself to send them back. But to be honest, I've worn them so much, I've definitely worn them like at least twenty times. So we're we're almost down to a pound a wear now. Um, so, soon, I'm, I'm very much enjoying them. And then the dress, uh, the jumper that I wore with them, this is from a um, a company called Joni. I'll link their. Um, website down below because I don't think they do this jumper anymore because I bought it when it was in the sale because I wanted it so much and it's just a grey knitted jumper that's got this um 
thing on to the front that says annual leave, which is what we call holiday here in the UK. If you're on, if you're booking um, time away from work, you call it annual leave. Um, and I don't, I know I won't get to wear this jumper very often because I won't be on annual leave all the time, but I just fell in love with it. And I think I got it when it was um, reduced anyway. And then I think I had like a 20% off voucher on top of it. So it ended up not being that much. This is in a size large. Now what I would recommend is I've bought a t-shirt from Joni in extra large and it was way too big for me. And I buy extra large pretty much everywhere. So that's a t-shirt that's got Margate on the front. It's actually become an exercise t-shirt, t-shirt, which wasn't my plan. I wanted it to wear with like skirts and stuff and tuck in. Um, so I would recommend if you're roughly about my size, which is like a 16 to 18, then you are a large in Joni. It's just, I'm so used to having to buy extra larges and everything because normally sizes are really small that when I buy an extra large and it is massive on me, I'm always shocked. So yeah, I would say if you're a, a sort of up to size 18 is probably a large in Joni um, and anything more than that is, a, is an extra large. But yeah, really, really like this jumper and um, we'll be wearing it when I'm next on annual leave, which I don't think is until the end of November. Oh, boring. Right, um, then the next thing I wore, oh, this was my favourite thing I wore all month, and I've mentioned it in my favourites video. Um, David and I went to a friend's wedding, um, which was absolutely lovely. We had such a lovely day. Um, and um, while, uh, whilst I was there, I was wearing these shoes. Um, but the outfit, uh, the whole outfit was from Marks and Spencers. These shoes, which were £25, um, they're a size 6. Um, leopard print um sort of like fluffy leopard print uh, kitten heels <laughs> the heels are filthy sorry it was very like i'd never wear heels like this as i said like these are these are high for me um but the fact that they were like little tiny ones no i was just sinking into that grass all day they didn't stay on my feet long but they weren't that bad and if if it had if it had been indoors it would have been fine because i wouldn't have been sinking into anything but yeah um they were really really sinking into these that's why they're filthy i need to do something about them but apart from that aside from that very very comfy and a bargain really at, at 25 pounds and then the dress i wore which i've already already mentioned in my um favorites video um was this dress from marks and spencer um, which was it like in the photo that um, I saw it online it looks really really casual so I wouldn't have seen it but I went into Marks and Spencer to try on another dress um, and saw this on the way to the changing room and was like oh I'll just try it on and as soon as I put it on I was like bloody oh I love this it just hangs so nicely it's really heavy material so it hangs very nicely it's long sleeve which is another bonus for me it's got a tie at the waist so I can tie it up and it'd be a bit tight like tighter and may maybe a bit more formal or I can wear it really loose maybe with a pair of trousers or something I love this green i don't feel like i own that much green and i don't know if it's my blonde hair but i just feel like the green just looked really nice on me i really like the neck of it the fact that it's sort of like is high i just i just love everything about it i love the cuffed arms i just think it's absolutely fantastic now when i bought it i think it was 45 pounds and it actually went down to 19 pound in the sale before i'd even been to the wedding so that's a bit gutting but i loved it so much like i i was just delighted to have a dress that i felt so lovely in all day so very 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 much enjoyed wearing that i'm gonna i need to wash this i might even hand wash it <laughs> who am I kidding I'm not gonna hand wash it um and then the last thing I wore um on the last day of September um David and I met up with our friends and went to Top Golf in Surrey which is a massive driving range um where you sort of like hit the ball try and hit the ball in my case um into big targets on the driving range oh my god I was so crap we were there about four hours I swear I probably hit about five balls I was shocking um and I was wearing a top from Sainsbury's, which, as I said earlier, is a little bit like the grey one I've got. So it's got this sort of, again, curly neck and curly sleeves. This is in store now. It's £12. I'll link it down below. I just love it. When I had it on, I said I feel like a like a, 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 90, 90, a 90s children's TV presenter. Um, it's pink, green, yellow and purple stripes. I just think it's fantastic. I'll wear it with jeans. I'll wear it with those jeans. And I wore it on the day under these big red dungarees which I love which um, I bought from ASOS in the summer no before the summer I think oh, I've got something in my pocket here as well there's loads of stuff in my pockets lucky I do this because otherwise oh that's my top golf card um uh, yeah, so these were £40 in the summer from ASOS. Um, when I bought them, I was like, oh great, because they're bright, so I'll be able to wear them all summer, and then they're red, so I'll be able to wear them in the winter and Christmas as well. I got them in a size 16. Again, they've got lovely big legs, so I can roll them up. So um, in the summer, I was wearing them much more rolled up than I was before. Now it's wintry, I'll probably um, bring them down a little bit, but love these love these dungarees they've washed up fine as well sometimes i worry that like as you wash a particularly colored denim it sort of like fades a bit but i mean i've washed them twice and it seems okay i try not to wash them that much because they're like over stuff anyway um so i try i just try not to wash denim too much um so yeah so those are the clothes that i wore in the month of september i hope you're still enjoying me doing this um 
and seeing the clothes that I've um, got up to. Now, um, it's October, it's my birthday next month, so I'm not allowed to buy anything in case um, people want to get me that for my birthday or Christmas. So, I might be doing a lot of rewears in October, but I ain't got no bother with that, um, so long as you guys aren't, um, aren't bothered about seeing the same clothes again. But I can style them in a different way, I'll try. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, those are the clothes that I wore in the month of September. Um, I'm on, as I said, on Instagram, where you can see more of my outfits, where I'm at Lauren and the Books, and the hashtag that I use is L-A-T-B-O-O-T-D, um, Lauren and the Books Outfit of the Day. Someone, when I went that wedding, my friend Hazel was like, what does that mean, L-A-T-B? And I explained, and it all became clear to her. Um, and I will see you all again soon for another booktube video. Goodbye!